Hello everyone, Wave Rabbit here, and today I'm checking out a game called Return One Way Trip. Now, I don't know too much about the game. I, I went in, hopefully, you know, trying to be as blind as possible. However, what I know about the game is that it appears to be a 2D side-scrolling horror game that just from the looks of it, you know, the aesthetic, it really reminds me of Corpse Party, if anyone is familiar with that series. So yeah, a 2D horror side-scrolling little puzzle game. Sounds interesting, you know, I'm definitely down to play it. Like I said, I've played Corpse Party 4. I found it to be really effective, despite the art style, you know what I mean? So I'm curious to try this out. So let's dive in. All right, prologue, campfire story. Alright, so I probably uh, ended up cutting it out just to save time, but before this, really quick, there was a nice little intro sequence where I had the credits and I had like this really nice piano song playing. Uh, definitely, you know, it was definitely nice, definitely set the mood. I probably cut it though just, you know, to save time, but I just wanted to throw that out there that, you know, that's what you guys would have missed. Uh, so on to the actual game, this is Utah, that's how I'm gonna say Utah, and before she could scream, a huge slimy claw clamped over her mouth. The creature dragged her into the shadows, and she was never seen again. Utah, why did you tell such a scary story, says Saki. Uh, Kazuki, hello, we're sitting around a campfire in the middle of the woods. What did you expect? Okay, Sen, I think Saki prefers romance. Kazuki, whoever heard of a campfire romance? Uh, I said his name, Ka Kane? K K Ka Kane? I'm gonna, say, I'm gonna say Kane. That poor girl, never seen again? What if that's us? What if we never see each other again? Uh, I'm, I'm gonna stop saying their names. I mean, you guys get the point. Uh, what are you talking about, babe? We're done with school. After this trip, we start adulting. Most of us have jobs in different cities. Sen and Saki get married. Okay, so it looks like everyone's kind of having like a one last little get together. Uh, we may never see each other again. Don't be such a downer, Kane. We would never lose touch with each other. Honestly, for anyone who like hasn't gone through high school yet, it really sucks. You really do lose touch with people. Like, ah, life just happens. It really is just a shame, you know what I mean? Ah, she's like freaking out. What the? Did you guys see that? How? Saki, are you alright? Yes, I'm fine. It just startled me. You okay, babe? Besides the heart attack, I'm okay. How could that have happened? I don't know, maybe there was gas or oil on the wood. For an infernal geyser like that, the wood have had to have been soaked. I didn't smell any gas or oil, did any of you? Not I, man. Oh, not I, man, that was scarier than your story, bro. Scary or not, I'm getting cold. Maybe we should just turn in then, we're out of wood anyway. But since, shouldn't we have a fire burning all night? You know, to keep away wolves or something? It's okay, Saki, there aren't any wolves. Or zombies. <laughs> They'd be drawn to the fire. Maybe, but they burn easily, so we can just set them on fire. Stop making fun, I'd feel safer if we had a fire. Sen, please. I, I, I agree, it's probably a better idea to have a fire, honestly, than just not have a fire. Uh, of course, Saki. Okay, let's go scrounge up some firewood. Can we just wait for zombies? How are firewood coming to us? <laughs> Wow, lazy much? I vote we go in groups. Us manly men will go this way to the right. Girls, you go search to the left. Is that a good idea to separate and just leave the girls on their own? I mean, I'm just saying. Manly men, please. Alright, so so far it's a good setup. You know, it's, it's nice. It's these friends that um, they're afraid of never seeing each other again. Kind of similar to Corpse Party, as I said before, because the Corpse Party basically what kicks off the uh, story is that they do like a ritual so they'll be friends forever or something if I remember correctly. So very similar and so far I dig the aesthetic, it's working really well. Uh, Saki, let's go, maybe they'll get eaten by zombies and we won't have to put up with them anymore. Okay, so Saki's definitely like a scaredy cat. Well, Kane, whatever her name is, she's more brave. My flashlight should be in my backpack, yep, here it is. All right, so I made a good choice going, uh, might as well take my notebook too, perfect. So I made a good choice going to the tent. Okay, so X, Y, A. Cool. 
Embers of the campfire. Why did it go out so suddenly? Yeah, did they not hear the train? Because I heard, like, the train, so... Uh, the boys' tent. Sen's backpack is near the front. Alrighty. Cool, cool, cool. Cool. Can you talk to her? Uh, no, I don't think so. Oh, right. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, let's see. Oh, this one is way too wet. We better keep looking. Yeah, I need... Wood can't be wet. It has to be like dry wood so it burns easier. Uh, there. This is dry enough to burn. Let's head back to the campsites. I'm curious. What happens if I keep going? Oh, okay. A clear j clear lake. At center, a gnarled willow tree stands in silent vigil. Alright, cool. Oh, what is that? Some sort of a message or something like a little uh hey what blew uh yeah what blew out of that tree up ahead it doesn't look like a leaf hey look at this an envelope oh my you probably shouldn't open it why not uh bad luck <laughs> don't be silly let's see wow what is it it's a haiku and it's addressed to me listen to this my dear Saki, you rise with like the sun, bright, warm, nurturing, my love. Now is meant for us. XXOO. Interesting, okay. Nice, but a little cheese ball if you ask me. It's sweet, I love it. Do you really? Of course, how can I not? Wow, you really are a romantic, falling for that stuff. But how did it get here? It was the falling off Sen's backpack and the wind carried it away. He'll be so disappointed if he thinks he'll, he's lost it. But I know when we get back to the campsite, I'll slip it into his backpack. I don't want to spoil his surprise, so I don't say anything. Can you imagine the dude finds it and he's like, this is addressed to my girlfriend, but it's not for me. He's like all confused and crap. All right, let's see. So, so far everything's calm, right? It's just a setup. So far nothing's happening. But, you know, is, is crap about to hit the fan any moment now? Embers of the campfire, why did it go out so suddenly? Uh, we can't put more... Hold on. Uh, maybe I have to open the inventory? There you go, there. I've tucked the envelope in Sen's backpack. He'll never know it was missing. Alright, can we also put the... Uh... I'll just toss these onto the embers. There you go, perfect. Great, the wood's burning already. Are the boys going to come back, or are they just, like, not going to... Yeah, they're back, okay. That's right, they're just not going to come back. Looks like the girls beat us to it, guys. Ooh, we just got lucky. We didn't have to go far. You didn't get lucky. We let you in. Okay, calm down. I didn't know it was a competition. Come on, babe. Think about it. When don't boys have easy access to wood? Ha. Huh? <laughs> That's so stupid. <laughs> don't be disgusting. <laughs> I'm sure there's a scary campfire story in there somewhere. Something about a fiend that burns wood. And on that note, I think it's time to go to sleep. We'll just let the fire burn down and... What's this? You don't have to pretend, Sen. Kane and I found it near the lake. It must have fallen out of your backpack. It's a beautiful haiku. It is. Whoever wrote this has a major crush on you. But I didn't write this. Uh-oh, dun-dun-dun. You mean you got it off the internet? No, I mean that I didn't write this. Someone else did. Someone else here. Ooh. Spicy. Which one of you did this? Saki's my fiance. Trying to steal her? I shouldn't write it. I mean, love you, Saki, as a friend, but Connie's my girl. Was it me? I swear. I mean, there's not a romantic bone in my body. <laughs> I don't believe you. Spill it, Utah. Yeah, I was gonna say, if it's anyone, it'd probably be the odd guy out, right? Um... Oh, I love it. I love the aesthetic. How I just switched to like like the little models. Like that's that's really cool. That's I, I like that. That's really cool. Uh, spill it, Utah. Wait, what? Whoa, cowboy! I can't be Utah. You're gay anyway, right, buddy? Why would you, Kazuki? Sen, don't. Bullshit. I've seen the way he looks at Saki, especially on this trip. I'm guessing that's why he came alone. Not that I've seen you with the girlfriend forever. Are you crazy? I'm serious. I literally couldn't romance a stone. You're killing me, son. I never seen you like this, son. Is that why you follow us around like a puppy? 
hoping maybe Saki will leave me and you'll swoop in. Jeez, right? Like that would ever work. Get it through your head, buddy. We're getting married. Sen, why are you being so mean? He's our friend. Maybe I'm not your friend after all. Maybe I never was. Just, what is your problem, man? I should go after him. No, give him some space. Maybe we're all just overtired. Especially one person I can think of. But Saki, just go to sleep, Sen. You can tell we'll be back and we'll sort it out then. Will he be okay out there? You can tell we'll be, we'll be fine. He just, we all just need to calm down. Tomorrow we'll all wake up and be friends again, like always. You'll see. I think you're being a little too optimistic there. I mean, the stuff that just got like thrown around is pretty major accusations, right? Like, geez. Later. Right, what is that? Okay, it's a girl on a swing, right? Oh, that was really creepy. Nice. That was supposed to be a jump scare. It didn't get me. Um, nice. What a nightmare. That little girl was very creepy. It felt so real. What? What's that? All right, so we're here in the train again. An earthquake? Carne, guys, Sen, did you feel that? No one's answering. What's going on? Where did this fog come from? Everyone's gone. Sen, Kane, Kazuki. Maybe they went to look for Utah. Might as well go after them. All right, it's dead and damp from the fog. The boy's tent. The girl's tent. Interesting. See, this is what I'm saying. I think it's so cool how it doesn't even have fancy graphic. It's just like little like, you know, like it's just like really like rudimentary graphics. But it just works so well. Like, like, like look at this art. It's really well done. And like they're really setting up some good stuff. You know what I mean? A huge tangle of bushes blocks the path. Wow, that earthquake really did a number on this forest. I'll never get through those vines without something sharp to cut through them. I can just reach it. Okay, cool. All right, we have our knife. Uh, we could probably use this now. That blade is rusty, but it should cut through these vines. The rusted kukiri shattered, shattered from the effort. All right, so it's like a one-time use thing. Oh, what's that? Who? Hey, this isn't funny. Alrighty. Let's go, let's go. Train tunnel, huh? Whoever that was ran this way. I'm gonna be so mad when I find those guys, especially Sen. I hope they're alright. Oh, you can hear like footsteps still. <laughs> Who's there? Oh, and there's a train, just randomly in front of us. That's pretty cool. What the, a train out here? Where did that come from? It's old too, must have been here for years. Maybe I just got turned around in the fog. Let's see, I'm alone in the dead of night, considering entering what appears to be a rusted out and probably dangerously unstable old train. Recipe for disaster. What if my friends are in there? Knowing them, they ran into this, forgot everything, and just started exploring. All right, let's see. Looks like I don't have a choice. I'd better check if they're in the train. All right. So we are on the ghost train now. Chapter one, all aboard. All right, cool, cool, cool. How old is this train? Must be decades. I can taste the rust and mold in the air. Hello? Who's there? Interesting. Let's see. A tarot notebook, half of the contents are missing. Holy crap. 
Oh, wow. Yeah, she's freaking the fuck out. What, what was that? Come on, Saki, get together. You're just letting this place get to you. Like Sen always tells me, I just have an overactive imagination. So hopefully that was only my imagination. Hopefully. Damn, she just saw your freaking eyeball and crash. She's like freaking out. There's a bulge beneath the folds. A tin of paint thinner? How did that get stuck there? The curtain seems tangled in something, so the paint thinner's trapped there for now. Interesting. A fire extinguisher. There's a grimy handprint on it. Oh boy. A janitor's utility locker. Its door is locked. Yeah, I hope it's not like um, Corpse Party where it makes you run around and hide. Because having to remember where to hide is going to be like really hard. Uh, what? What's going on? Is, is that real? It looks like it's clutching something. Oh, that's gross. Uh, pry it open. It's too gross to touch. Uh, pry it open. Oh, dude. That, that sound is gross. A horrible mummified hand resting on a leather-bound book. It almost looks like it's waiting for something. That's why she can't look at the book for some reason. Okay, so what I'm guessing is if I go forward, probably someone's going to chase me. I'm going to have to hide in that locker. Let's just head to the locker now. Hopefully I'm wrong and there's just something in there. Hopefully it's not that we have to like run back over here. Inside are tools and a built-in mini safe. Okay, we got a crowbar. That's good. We can defend ourselves hopefully. The locker contains a built-in mini safe. If I could get something through that maze, I might be able to open the safe. Interesting. Okay. Alright. Yeah, so hopefully the locker's not for hiding. Cause yeah, like in other games you have to like run around and hide, it kinda sucks. A pile of broken furniture is blocking the door. If I have the right tool, I can pry that furniture apart to get through. So of course, that's where I use this. This crowbar shall me pry away the furniture. It worked, the doorway is clear. A child's drawing is hidden among these chairs. Something's written on the back. Bright moon in the sky. We sit side by side, then dark. Who's gone? Moon? Them? Me? Huh, okay. Alright, do I still have my crowbar? Yes, I still have it. Perfect. Oh, that's where you save. Cool. This looks like a diary page. It's not dated. Uh, we both enjoy the same things we always have. I see now, however, that we enjoy these same things in different ways. He savors taste. I wasn't even reading the bottom part. Um, let's see, hold on. He savors taste. I indulge in aromas. We stare at each other eye to eye, our faces inches away. Even so, neither of us can see each other. Hmm, interesting. Just the noose. A tiny noose. That gives me the creeps. Okay, interesting. Just a random noose. Okay. Alrighty. It's locked. Oh, she hears something. A sturdy wooden door. It's locked tight. There's a shape of something or someone just barely visible through the peephole. Oh, it's someone hanging. It's someone hanging. Hey, is someone in there? Sen, Yuta, Kane? I can see you. Are you okay? Open the door. Who's in there? Sen, come on. You're scaring me. Whoever it is doesn't reply, seeming to hover in place. Well, yeah, because it's a body hanging, girl. How do you not tell it's a body hanging in there? The lock on this door is rusted and it can't be opened. A stained bone dry sink. A fragmented face stares back from the shards of the broken mirror. Oh, those dark circles. I need some sleep. I hope I find the other soon. 
A stained but empty toilet bowl. The toilet has a handle, but there's nothing to flush. Uh, I, I take the handle, I guess. It's random. Uh, old toilet handle. All right, cool. All right. Something's going to happen in here, I'm guessing. A small piece of paper is sticking out from under a platter. My dolls are my friends. Her friends are her friends were my dolls. That way we could play always. All right, rather ominous, right? <laughs> it's right away now, but I bet the food was very fancy back in the day. Oh. I'm not going to get through this door, okay? What if sense in that locked room hurt and unable to answer me? Yeah, an object seems to be submerged there. There we go. I can probably put the handle from the other toilet in this one. There we go. The handle snaps into place. All right, let's see. What did we find? The toilet flushes away and drains this dark muck. Hey, a pair of shears. Why are there shears in the bathroom? Who knows? And they still look sharp. They're still a little slimy, but I bet they'll come in handy. Oh, okay, so we just had to come this way. As soon as I came up puzzle games, sometimes it's just like, you have to do things in a certain order, and then things don't unlock, you know what I mean? So, okay, we had to come back all the way this way. Uh, Utah? Utah, is that you? Hey, Saki. <laughs> he seems so formal as hey. I've been looking all over for you and everyone else. Have you seen them? Man, not for a while. Just been looking at this book. I imagine it was a poetry book, haikus, love poems. When the people on this train were alive, some of them were in love. Er, are you okay? That's just a pile of rotting paper. I mean, are you still mad at Sen? Not that I would blame you. No, no, I'm not mad. Any I'm not mad anymore. I'm over it now. I'm over a lot. I guess I'm still sad though. Sen didn't mean it. I swear. He can be a little jealous, and he was overtired. Ha! <laughs> That's you, Saki, all the way. Excusing Sen. That's not fair. I didn't excuse him. I told him he was being mean. I suppose, but that doesn't mean you quite confronted him or defended me. Hell, only Kazuki really came to my defense. I'm sorry, I I don't know what to say. Don't say anything or anything you don't mean anyway. You're just being a good fiancé. You make that sound like a bad thing. I suppose it's not, but have you ever noticed? People start out as strangers, then they become friends. Then they become girlfriends and boyfriends. Then the word friend disappears the closer you get. Fiancé, husband, wife, no more friends. You're really worrying me, Utah, and I am your friend. Yeah, I know. Huh, well listen, let's just find the others and get out of here. Someone's in a cabin with a f weird lock on the door. I can't tell where they're trapped or hurt. It might be Sen or Kazuki or Kane. Hell, it could be a dressing dummy, but we need to get in there just in case. Okay, tell me what to do and I'll help. Okay, follow me. Yeah, the current seems tangled in something, so the paint thinner is trapped there for now. So I'm going to use the scissors. To cut the curtain. The shears cut through the thick curtains. A tin of paint thinner bangs on the floor. Paint thinner. Okay. That worked. Let's go. Okay, so I think where I can use it is here. There we go. Okay, the red paint was diluted, so it says, I don't know, left, and then, I don't know, right? I don't know what that means. Hanging figures? What could this mean? So, I don't know, is this hanging means left, not hanging means right? I don't know. Oh, shit. Some random ass ghost kid and good baby laughs. Did you see that? Cute little tyke. But Utah, what's a kid doing in here in the middle of the night? Sleepwalking? Can you be serious for once, Utah? Our friends are missing and this place is freaking me the hell out. Sorry. Thank you. Now, that kid ran toward the dining car. Let's check it out. Yeah, I like how he's like not responding at all to the fact that this is like really creepy. Oh, it sounds like there's people next door. What the heck? It sounds all lively. That's so weird. It sounded like lively a moment ago. And now it's all like, did you? That sounded like a crowd, but the place is completely empty. It's always party time somewhere. Zip it, Utah. 
We're seeing things and now we're starting to hear things. Yeah, he's acting weird. He's acting like way too casual about everything. What? Another child's drawing? Where did this come from? Okay, so it was my first trip. Make many journeys so long. Oh, many make journeys so long, some will never end. Interesting. An earthquake? What's causing them, Utah? This one's totally messing with my equilibrium. I'm getting dizzy. I feel so weird, Utah. I think I'm gonna... It's okay, Saki. Just relax. I don't trust Utah, man. Utah seems very suspicious. Like... You know, at first I kind of felt for... Okay, so chapter 2, de Destination Past. So at first I kind of felt for Utah, you know? I feel like, okay, you know, maybe he's been accused of stuff that he, you know... Whatever. But now he seems a little too suspicious. And he's treating all of this way too normally. Doesn't seem to be worried about anybody else. Like, I don't know, man. He's being a little weird. What happened? Where am I? Alright, so apparently we are in the past. I guess maybe we like put together pieces of what happened or something? This looks like that old rusted out train, but brand new. It can't be. It must be in our train. It has to be. I'm sure someone here can tell me where I am and how I got here. Alrighty guys, I think this is where I'm going to call it, even though I am very interested to see what is up with being in the past, I think this is where I'm going to call it a day. Uh, as you guys can see, this is a very interesting puzzle slash like horror mystery game, where yeah, it has a pretty interesting setup, right? I mean, you're with your friends in the woods, everyone fights, gets separated, you go onto this mysterious train to look for them, and yeah, it just seems like there's some sort of a weird thing going on with ghosts and time travel and trying to figure out, I guess, the mystery of what happened to all these people. So I think the game's really interesting. I'm definitely interested to see more of what, you know, what, what the story's about. Um, anyone who's interested, the game is out on Steam as well as Switch, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One. So yeah, if any of what you saw seems interesting, I would say check it out. My name has been WeebRabbit. If you like what you saw, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. If you didn't like what you saw, then leave constructive criticism. And yeah, until next time, bye bye guys.